Welcome to Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Rex. We have a gift from a uh, magnificent bastard, Corey Megrin. Corey Megrin, you magnificent bastard. Nut it's Creek. a Nut Creek. All right. All We're right. gonna go back into. It's been a while. Sure. This is a store pick from it's a, a single barrel. Yeah. Single barrel. Vineville beverage. I'm gonna meet you halfway. Proof down to 120. This is what I'm gonna do for you. Okay. Because we've already done Knob Creek before. Yeah. For the fairness and justice for all, we should compare it to just the standard Knob like Creek. Like generic Knob Creek. Yes. yes. See what the single barrel does differently. Well, what this one does differently. Yeah. Ooh, I like when the oak presents this way. He's gonna take a minute. He's hobbling over there, slowly. Well, I also you don't know where it is. Don't know where it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this may take a minute. Oh, is that it? This is a classic nine. Let's go with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this what's, is a small batch. What's the proof on it? Uh, this is sixty percent, one twenty proof. Fifty, hundred proof. I'm not gonna turn it away. Okay, I love. When oak presents this way in a glass. Wait for it. Oh, you want to go right to the AB. Well, I'm just going to have it pour and sit for a second. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's dense. Oh, I love that fresh, clean oakiness with this, like, uh, ooh, this sugary, syrupy cherry layered right yeah, on top. There is almost a medicinal note floating around on the outside. Sugar, of that too. I say sugary, syrupy. So whenever you get into, like, the, somewhere between a Luxardo and a Maraschino. That, that cherry syrup thing that it's just living in over, it's not tanniny oak, it's just like fresh and clean oakiness. There's like a, like a, mm, like a tea quality in there too. Right I don't now, know if it's a peanut or a graham cracker. There's multiple things going on. I really like the nose. Go ahead. I'm having a hard time getting past the really, the density of that medicinal cherry so to me. So you say medicinal in the bourbon medicinal as like in cherry mm, cough syrup or yeah. a cough drop. All right, I'm getting less of uh, a cough drop and more of like the syrup that you get into a cocktail cherry just living in there. It's big. Ah, there it is in the palate. It rolls out in the palate with really heavy cherry accents. It's like a really low wood tannin actually, surprisingly. Yeah, the very light, light, fresh uh, trace of oakiness. Vanilla cherry cream. It, it drinks so thick. It drinks Viscous. so sick. Yeah, you, you want to. Yeah. It feels like there'd just be almost a like a syrupy drip that comes down if you poured that. Oh, mm. that one. I wonder how that becomes much more cherry forward for me. And you're not liking the the type of angle on that cherry. No. Mm. But you know what that would do? Mm. That would annihilate an on the rocks pour. Oh yeah, it'd be amazing. Ice ice didn't stand a chance. I bet the wooden tannin would. Jump forward a little bit too. Ice doesn't stand a chance on them. Mm. I wish there was like a little trace of maybe some peanut or um, graham cracker. On the taste, I'm just getting kind of a brown sugar. I'm not finding the peanut or the graham cracker. Try just, the original nine. Just the brown sugar there. Or right, slightly lower proof on the original. Yeah. And the grain grassiness comes forward a little bit, like the dustiness of the mash bill. Yeah, and there's more of a vanilla note mm -hmm. on the, as I said, the classic mm -hmm. nine. Is that what it is? Yeah, just I don't the, know if they even do this one anymore, but mm. it's equal nine. Yeah, definitely more vanilla. A lot less cherry, a lot more vanilla. And more grain forward. And drier. It is drier. Mm. More wood tannin. And what is that finish? Like a, bit, a little bit of a eucalyptus or something? Yeah. That's is it a I'm grassy? Saying. That's the rye mm. component, I think, going these, in there. These drink, drink very different. Yeah, very. Easy 20% difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Knob Creek, man. I just, uh, it's one of those ones that if you're in a place and you don't have a lot of options, but you see Knob Creek, mm -hmm. you're like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Be fine. It's respect. It's respectable <laughs> we'll okay. wherever you are. Um, and the difference isn't just attributed to the proof. Mm -mm. This is intrinsic flavors in that. So much more cherry forward. This, the vanilla. That's a good barrel it's, choice. It's threatening to be a metallic vanilla on just the regular nine. Yeah. Compared to this, I don't know what it would be in a vacuum, but yeah. I like it. But between the two, what are you reaching for? Oh, definitely this the new one. This one. Okay. Even uh, though no you're not even though you're not feeling that medicinal presentation of cherry yeah, for you. Still superior. I like every the whole package I like a little bit more. And then it, now it's landing in like a nice tanniny sweet tea. Yeah. Hey, you're getting way more out of that than I am. No, no, no. It, this is after I go to the classic, then I go back to this, yeah. and then the finish is like here's a sweet tea. 
a little bit of a classic um, getting towards overly steeped. I'm starting to get more of a coffee note. Oh, really? Okay. That leads into like a maple syrup on pancake. Oh, uh, okay. Now this, the, the syrupiness, yeah, I could see a little bit of But maple. it reminds me, so uh, yesterday I had some cornbread. I tried the Trader Joe's one. Yeah. And when we made it, I was like, oh man, yeah. this tastes like cornmeal. Okay. Most cornbread tastes more like cake. It's sweet, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. But this, when you bite it, it's a little gritty. Mm. It tastes like cornmeal, like actual cornbread. Mm. Maybe a little more authentic. Yeah. It was a little bizarre, right? And so it's making me think in that direction of that's like, oh, this is like bready, mm. like grainy pancakes, not like yeah. store bought, store, right. not some kind of weird thing, but it's like, no, this is a pancake made at home from scratch yeah, yeah. with the original grains, maybe even crushed or something or milled. Every time, like we're talking grainy. About, every time we're talking about cornbread, there's like a, a short film, I think maybe from the early 2000s, late 90s, called The Accountant. Mm. And it's this like total backwoods redneck accountant guy and he shows up at the farm and he sits down at the table to do this farmer couple's um, taxes and he sits down with the paperwork and he's like hitting the table and stomping his feet to do the math. <laughs> and uh, he's talking about how the, you know, the South isn't what it once was. And then people come in, you know, and they... Uh, <laughs> they drink tea that ain't sweet, but the cornbread is. That's not real South. It's totally true. Like, like hardcore okay. South, yeah, you yeah. don't have sweet, cakey cornbread. No. And if it's not sweet tea, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You this have to be like, catching diabetes or you're whole, not doing like, it right. Honey butter cornbread that, you know, yeah. it's like, that's not. Isn't that real? It's good. It's don't good. get me wrong. It's I'm, cake. Not, I'm not complaining. It's cake. But it's kind of amazing. Yeah. But, okay. Hell yeah. Not great. Get we old, got um, the Jamie Jaime. Not. J. Hey, Jaime. 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 Not la me. Not Jamie. Jaime, not Jamie. A two minute review in a five minute video. Daniel in a non black shirt, no shenanigans, non whiskey related conversation to extend the video. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Man, <laughs> here's the thing we were very self conscious about that episode. Yeah. But, like, at a certain point, if it's like, just an MGP, which it was, know, yeah. no shade on people that send us stuff. Like, it's incredibly generous, thank you. Yeah. But if it's just an MGP and they didn't do anything different to it, like, yeah, why do we have to say that we haven't already said? I just replied to in the comments, uh, slash, blinks twice rapidly, blinks again twice rapidly, slash. Is that, it's like SOS here. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> That's going to be like if we really get taken over by hostages, but they want to make everything look like it's still going as normal, <laughs> then that's when we start showing up in weird clothes. <laughs> we stand on the wrong side. Right, if, and the whole time we act vaguely uncomfortable. If I'm ever wearing the medallion and Daniel's yeah. over here, just like yeah. call the authorities. Yeah, we've obviously been arrested. Somebody, been held hostage. Somebody's trying to loot the vault. <laughs> uh, we have Franklin Hayes. Rex looks like he's got a Drax jock strap holding around his neck, just saying. Where's my yeah, sock? What made you start wearing that again? Did you find it when it, you guys were cleaning things out? No, it was like, just, oh, it I was, need this. It was just in here. Oh. It was in here, and it's easier to keep track of which glass whenever I have a very classy and functional Glenn Karen holder. Yeah. Where, did, where did it go, though? I don't know. But once again, we are without sock. <laughs> <laughs> go back to it and in the original one, and now it's a little bit more cinnamon forward. It is on the nose. And then this, it's crazy how much these change just whenever you give it a minute mm -hmm. and then come back. Because now I'm pulling out notes of... Well, and the high proof changes faster because it's evaporating faster. Oh, now this isn't it's nearly, good. it's not nearly as cherry forward and aggressive with that no. cherry note as it was at the very beginning. No, it's really not. Yeah, which is why even if you approach a whiskey and you're not in love with it right out of the give gate... Give it a second. Yeah, give it a minute, circle back, try it a few times. Or send it to me, as we established with Mitch. Oh, yeah. Doesn't need to come in the vault. Just send it. I'll help you. Oh, interesting. With water, that got all kinds of lively and mm -hmm. and bo like boiling water. Good. Like, yeah, flavors are just changing and rolling. Okay. I would agree. The single barrel pick. Yeah. Yeah. Superior. yeah. It's got more going on. Yeah. And for a minute, I was surprised that that was your go-to because you yeah. weren't feeling the cherry, but the cherry fades pretty quick. Yeah, and you get into all the other things. Yeah, yeah. Here's fighting, stealing, drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink with us. <laughs>